nursery. Children, this week we are learning all about how seeds change into plants. Now this week's story is called Jasper's Beanstalk. Now Jasper the cat, he is our character in this story and he gets up to many adventures. Now have a look at this front cover. What is Jasper holding in his arms? Have a look. Well, they look like gardening tools to me. Can you name any of those gardening tools? Have you seen them before? Well, there's a spade. And there's a spray. There's a rake. And there's a hoe. I wonder what Jasper's going to do with all these tools. Now, this story is by Nick Butterworth and Mick Inkpen. Let's find out what Jasper, our character, gets up to in this story. Now, on Monday, Jasper found a bean. Have a look at it. He's so proud to have found this bean and he looks very, very happy. Now, a, a bean is a type of seed. I think he's very lucky to have found a bean because I had to order mine. So he's very lucky. On Tuesday, he planted it. Well, it looks like he used a garden trowel to dig the hole in the ground to plant his bean. I wonder why there's a stick there. I mean, is a stick going to help the bean grow? I think he's put the stick there so he knows where he's planted the bean. Very, very clever, Jasper. Our character is very clever. And there's a fork there. And there's a wiggly worm waiting for that bean to grow. On Wednesday, he watered it. He used a watering can now and filled it up with water from the tap. Now, children, why is he watering it? Why is he not pouring Coke or orange juice over it? Can you have a little think? That's because plants need water to help them grow. So he's doing all the right things so far. On Thursday, he dug and raked and sprayed and hoed it. And there's a little robin there watching Jasper as he plants that bean and helps it grow. On Friday night, he picked up all the slugs and snails. Now, why is Jasper collecting all the snails and slugs? Why is he not just leaving them there? Well, he's trying to protect his bean because he, he knows that these slugs and snails eat plants. So he's worried that they might eat his bean. On Saturday, he even mowed it. Now, that's a little bit funny because I was mowing the lawn on the weekend. Now, this is called a lawn mower and it and we use it to trim and cut grass down and sometimes little flowers. But I can't see any grass here or even any flowers. So is mowing it going to help? Is mowing the bean going to help it grow? I don't think it will. Mm -mm. On Sunday, Jasper waited and waited and waited. Look, he's spraying it again and he's watering it. Looks like with a hose pipe. Can you see? Hmm. So he's giving it plenty of water, but it's still not growing. When Monday came around again, he dug it up. And there's the robin waiting for all the worms to fly out so he can eat them. That bean will never make a beanstalk, said Jasper. 
And there's Jasper there, and it looks like he's had enough now. And he's thrown the bean over his shoulder. And he has been working very hard, children. So I do understand why Jasper is a little bit sad and a little bit fed up because he has been working so hard. And it looks like he's been doing all the right things. He's, he's planted it in the ground. He's watered it. He's given it plenty of light and space. And the bean hasn't grown yet. Children, do you think Jasper should give up? He shouldn't. He shouldn't give up. And I think he should keep trying because that's the only way he's going to make it happen. But a long, long, long time later, that little bean, that seed, grew into a tall, giant, green beanstalk. So there you go, children. Jasper was doing all the right things. It just needed a little bit more time and he just needed to keep trying and keep being patient because eventually the bean did grow. And it did. And it was a Thursday, I think. And there's the beanstalk in the background. And he's reading Jack and the beanstalk. I wonder if you've read that story before. Now Jasper is looking but giants, there he is, and he's thinking, I wonder if I'm going to find any giants on top of this beanstalk. And there you go, Jasper climbs up the beanstalk, and you can see his tail there. So I think he's already reached the top of the beanstalk. Now, children, if you climbed this beanstalk, what would you hope to find on top of the beanstalk? What do you think Jasper will find? Have a little think about how this story could end and let me know next week. So that's all about a story about Jasper the cat, a character, and he finds a bean and he plants it and he gives it plenty of water and space and light and most importantly time to help it change and grow into a beanstalk. Now children what I did was I ordered a bean so that I can also see how this bean, this tiny seed, changes into a beanstalk. Now this is a type of bean and there are different beans and there are different seeds but this one's called a lima bean and what I did children was I planted the bean into this plastic container I put cotton wool in it and I poured some water into it now children it's very important that you just put enough water to help this bean grow so I had to just put enough to make this cotton wool moist, not soaking and drenched in water, but just enough to make it moist. At first, I poured too much water, so then the next day I put a little bit less and I have eventually worked out how much water to pour in this container to, to, be, to make this cotton wool moist and for it to be just enough for this bean to turn into a beanstalk. Now, so far, children, this is what it looks like. And I have to put it back very soon because it looks like it's getting dry. Now, it started off as a seed. This is the bean, the seed. And this is the root. The root came out first, and now it's beginning to shoot. There you go. I've taken lots of pictures of it, children, and I will keep taking lots of pictures so that we can investigate how this bean changes and turns into a beanstalk. Now, children, we don't just need to order seeds or even beans. We can find them in our home. Did you know that? Well, what I want you to do this week is I want you to open your fridges and your cupboards and I want you to investigate in the foods that we eat, in our fruit and our vegetables. 
I want you to predict, to have a think whether you think it's got a seed in it or not. Now, it doesn't matter if it doesn't have a seed in it. I want you to first of all predict. I want you to wonder whether there's a seed in it. Then I want you to take the fruit and vegetables and anything else and with a grown up, I want you to cut it in half so that you can have a look at it properly. And I want you to look inside the fruit and vegetables and whatever else that you've got. Are there any seeds in it? What is the seed like? Is it small or is it big? Is it white or is it brown? Can you eat that seed? And if you can't, what would happen if you did? And can you sort those seeds out for me? Maybe put all the big ones together or all the small ones together for all the seeds that perhaps we don't eat. And as well as investigating seeds this week, I also want you to have a go with whatever you've got in your homes to make me some spring flowers and a beanstalk. Now, do you remember some of those spring flowers that we saw when we went on our spring hunt and that we might still see all around us? I found daisies and dandelions. I saw daffodils. I saw sunflowers. And I saw tulips. So I wonder if you can make any of those flowers for me and a beanstalk because I've got something very, very special to do with those flowers. So make sure you can make some for me this week. Children, have a great week investigating seeds, making flowers and reading this book and learning all about the different gardening tools and what Jasper does to help this bean grow into a beanstalk and I can't wait to hear all about it. Bye children, see you next week!